Happy weekend, oil traders. Uh, I thought we'd do a review of the past week. That was the week of September 15th through the, excuse me, that's the week of September 25th through the 29th of 2017. Um, today is Sunday. It's about 12.30 and uh, we're still quite a few hours away from the markets open in Asia overseas. Um, we're based in uh, North America here. And uh, it was the first week that we've had a pullback um, from the ever persistent um, bull run that we've had over the weeks past. Um, if we take a look at the, uh, let's see here, one year, actually no, let's take a look at the one week interval chart. So if I do this, here we go. So here we can see that uh, we've had four consecutive green weeks. Um, this is a weekly chart. Um, and this past week is actually still um, a green week, apparently. But if we look, flip over to the one day interval chart, we can see that um, we've started the descent. And uh, that really took place on Wednesday, uh, excuse me, Thursday, uh, the day after Newsday. Let me flip back to the uh, one week chart here. Um, so this drop here uh, from the highs of 5280. Six or 85 um, down to a low of 51.23 happened on Thursday. Um, Newsday on Wednesday actually didn't see us move very much at all. The news that came out was bullish. Um, so you might have expected to see a, a continuation of the bull run that we've seen in uh, the past couple of weeks. Um, but it was the exact opposite, and we had got our first significant pullback of about a buck sixty um, off the price of crude. Um, for me, that was a relief um, because I managed to sell my long position right at the uh, the top there, um, just before the drop. Um, so it wasn't quite at fifty two eighty um, eighty six um, where we saw the top because the North American markets didn't open that high. Um, we got. Um, I think a price of about 52.73, if I'm not mistaken, was the best price that we saw, which is exactly where I sold. So I got quite lucky on the sale of that long position. Of course, I say lucky, assuming we don't go straight back up <laughs> um, and higher still. Um, but uh, for the time being, I'm very happy with having been able to sell that long position because it's a long position that I've held forever. Um, if we take a look at my tradingjournal.ca account here, you can see that on the 25th and 20, excuse me, on the 25th, yeah, 25th and 28th, I was uh, exiting the long position um, in parts, and uh, I sold two small position, two uh, small parts of that long uh, long position on those two days. And uh, it was a 158, almost 159, and almost 162 day hold on those two different parts because they will go back to April 19th. Um, and if we take a look at the um, three month chart here, excuse me, I have to go further back than that. So let's take a look at the one year chart. April 19th was the last time we were um, that high basically. Um, so yeah, it's been quite a long hold for that long position and uh, I'm grateful to have the opportunity to get out with as little a loss as I did. Speaking of which, the loss itself was a net loss of $963 because I managed to take a profit on a short position that I purchased um, back from uh, back on uh, Monday, September 25th at a uh, crude price of $51.87. Um, so on the two parts of the long position that I sold, I lost 746 and 536 combined. Um, but I managed to offset some of those losses with that profit on the short position of $319. Now I didn't manage to get in on the um, drop at the very top. So even though I managed to sell my long position at 52.73, I entered my short buy at actually 52.77, just a few cents higher, which of course we never got to, so I never got that short and I missed out on the meat of this drop. Uh, fortunately, I did have the 51.87 short position, so I got at least part of the drop, um, but uh, yeah, unfortunately I missed out on a lot of it, um, but I did get out at quite a good price at a crude price of 51.28, which was just five cents 
above the low of the day um, and actually turned out to be the low of the week. Um, so uh, yeah, pretty, pretty good trading even though it was a loss week. Um, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Um, again, assuming that we don't go straight back up because I have not yet been able to get into a long hedge position. Um, so hopefully I am able to get in on that long position closer to 51. That's what I've been waiting for. Um, if we had settled at a crude price of closer to the lows, kind of 5120-ish area, I probably would have been tempted to buy a small long position at that point already. Um, but basically, we've been holding steady at kind of the mid 51s, and uh, um, having purchased, uh, repurchased, I should say, uh, another short position at that, at pretty much where we are right now. You can see here that uh, let me do a refresh if I uh, can. Um, I've got a pretty much a three day um, duration already on a small, just a 12% stake in another short position and I'm completely out of long. So everything I have right now is in uh, shorts. So as you can imagine, I'm quite bearish on the price of crude. That being said, I am looking to get into a long position to hedge some of that exposure. And uh, the price that I'm targeting is somewhere around 51. Um, so hopefully I get that opportunity on Monday, um, but uh, we'll see. I mean, lower than 51, of course, is welcome as well, but uh, we shall see. Now, like I said, the EIA news confirmed API's reports of a drawdown, which was, you'd think, bullish, but we dropped. Now that you know, being said, you can't um, kind of forget the fact that the two weeks prior to this past week, um, we had bearish news come out on EAI from EI, e, EIA, excuse me, and yet the bull run continued. So you can say that the past three weeks have been contrarian because when we should have gone up, quote unquote, we've gone down and vice versa. So just goes to show you not to read too much into what the news says as an indication of what crude will do. Um, I certainly learned that lesson and I'm sure um, if you haven't yet, you will soon. Now, uh, like I said, uh, my target for the week ahead is really to get into some long positions um, as a hedge. Um, so basically, if we go down to 51, um, I may sell the short, depending on what the action is that I have right now at 51.55. But more than likely, I'll hold on to that short position and rather hedge it by purchasing a long position closer to 51, if not lower. Um, now, of course, if we do have another dramatic pullback, then I'll be looking to exit more short positions. Um, my next one is about uh, 50 and a half. Um, so uh, it's still got a ways to go for me to get out of more shorts, but uh, we'll see. If we go back up, I'm looking at a price of 52 um, before I add to my short positions. I'm going to be a little bit more patient than I was in the uh, previous week to the last. How did you guys do? Let me know in the comments down below on YouTube or check me out on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, results, performance, etc, etc. Um, in the meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys ahead of markets open here in North America at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time tomorrow morning at on Monday. Until then, good luck. Cheers.